So now that I've used circuit sequencing capabilities to create a ton of variation in this track, I'm gonna go ahead and take a listen back to what we have. I'm gonna launch the first scene and solo through some of the tracks. We have the bass line, the plucky lead, and the drum loop. And we have variations on these as well. So I'm soloing the bass line and the drum loop. We have the no, no kick drum loop along with the uh, off stepped bass line. Octave up, off step bass line. Drum loop with no kick, no clap. And then the on step bass line octave up. So I'm gonna stop all these clips, unsolo them. And the part that I wanna focus on now is the plucky lead. And I'm gonna use Ableton's feature of slice to MIDI which will basically take the sample by transient and throw it into a new channel on a drum rack. And I can play all the samples right here off the Launchpad Pro. So let's go ahead and do that. Stop the clip, find the audio sample, which is this one here. It's as easy as right clicking here, slice to new MIDI track. It's by transient, slicing preset built in. And as it processes, you'll notice here on the Launchpad Pro, it opens up a new channel, channel five, which is now if we record arm it and go to note mode, all our samples. And what we're looking at here is in drum rack mode, it's showing four samples across vertically, and then it continues on on the right hand side. So all these samples here are in key. And the reason they're in key is because I use circuit scale mode and chose the minor key to record, to play the mini Nova while it recorded into Ableton. So all these samples from the mini Nova are in the minor, minor scale. So almost, any of these that I can hit will be in tune with the rest of the track. With that being said, I'm going to try something a little funky this time and actually grab the MIDI that came out of Circuit's drums on MIDI channel 10 and just plop it right into that track. And I'm also just for safekeeping going to duplicate that MIDI, MIDI, uh, MIDI clip and throw it back and let's see how it sounds. It's a little loud. Let's go ahead and turn that down. That works for me, I really like the way that sounds. I'm actually gonna duplicate that one more time and create a variation to it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going into that MIDI clip, finding the notes, selecting them by Command A, that'll, that'll select all of them. I'm gonna play the clip and just move it down by one note. That works for me too, let's see if we can get another one out of this. Duplicate that one more time, launch that clip, Select all of these and move it down a couple more times. I really like that one as well. Awesome, that sounds good to me.